day 37 of the Barcelona World Race and the leader Chemonet Crujula right up to speed doing 19 knots this morning in a 30 knot west-northwesterly approaching the exclusion zone as they are on the final sprint to Cape Lewin. They are expected to pass the second Great Cape on Friday morning. Neutrogena around 177 miles behind and one degree further north. Gaia Centros Auditivos and Renault Capture are just riding the back of the same system as the leaders, but that's bringing them strong westerlies with a very busy past 24 hours, lots of jibes for them both, and they can expect that to continue. We are water, enjoying the most straightforward conditions of the fleet, good reaching miles, whereas One Planet, One Ocean and Spirit of Hungary have had a lot of upwind sailing, brief respite this morning with some southerlies, but that's going to clock round, become more southeasterly, and a lot of 20 knot headwind four metre swells, very uncomfortable conditions. So looking at the position report for February, Thursday the 5th, leader Chemelet Pujla averaging a pretty impressive 18.8 knots over the course of this morning. Nooch Gina a couple of knots slower but uh, remaining well in touch with these leaders, 177 miles behind drift of them. Uh, that's 10 miles closer than they were this time yesterday. Gaia Centros Auditivos, they've uh, been going quickly, averaging around 16 knots, but lots of jibes, uh, slightly slower VMG. Same for Renault Captur in these strong westerly conditions. We are water, 600 miles behind Renault Captur, 600 miles in front of One Planet, One Ocean, reaching along nicely at 14 knots. Uh, one Planet, One Ocean and Spirit of Hungary, They've both seen uh, their boat speed and VMG suffer down to 10 to 12 knots as they battle these headwinds and over 3,000 miles now between Spirit of Hungary and the leaders. La cosa que cambia muchísimo, ¿no? La regata es, el red es muy larga y hay situaciones de todo tipo, ¿no? De buenas y dolentes. Y bueno, se ha acceptado, ¿no? Ahora, al que toca ahora es comenzar a una otra vez rápido, a pensar una que tenemos a evidentemente, tener controlado al Renault, que, que no tenemos muy lluny. Pero bueno, estamos en bastante confiados, tenemos un barco rápido y si no bien ve, pues bueno, escucha, bien fe. A ver, en una calma, evidentemente, pues se ha muchísimo, ¿no? Ahora lo que pasa es que hay unas 24 horas que han tenido bastante bien, que van a comenzar a rápido, que ya es una situación bastante más estresante, ya ya podemos una mica de, de fatiga, pero bueno, supongo que también poco a poco se acostumbran a, a aquel ritmo, porque ahora ya creo que aquel ritmo ya no, espero no dejarlo, y bueno, eso es lo que, es lo que toca a partir de ahora. Al final, nosotros eh, siempre hemos dicho que volíamos tener una red inteligente y conservadora, y ahora, los avan son muy buenos ratistas, están a mil millas. Uh, atraparlo es difícil, ¿no? Ahora llegan muy bien, han salido más que nosotros. Y, y si podemos atraparlo, lo que viene a hacer es forzar el barco y el motor se hace trancar, lo cual eso no, no lo pensamos. En darrere, tampoco nos preocupa, yo creo que es lo que hablamos antes. Si, si seguimos agarrando con fin de ahora, lo hemos pasado en darrere y no nos lo iríamos a atrapar. Uh, una de las cosas es que tenemos mala suerte en una cama, que tenemos una rotura y hay, y hay, y hay una cosa normal, ¿no? Earlier we spoke to Gerard Marin on Gaia Centros Auditivos. He and Anna Corbea in third are one of the fastest boats in the fleet at the moment, but they're certainly having to work for it, lots of jibes overnight and 30 knot westerlies, making a very welcome change from the frustrating super light conditions they had at the start of the week. However, Gerald commented that the pair are now starting to feel some fatigue after being previously very well rested and that this relentless pace is now unlikely to let up for the bulk of the Southern Ocean miles. Gerard was pragmatic about their chances of catching the leaders, who are now around a thousand miles ahead, and feels that attempting to chase them hard would mean pushing the boat potentially too much at this stage. Instead, he and Anna, the only mixed team in the race, have always set out to sail a smart regatta, and holding on to a current podium place would be a very good result for them. They are not overly concerned about Renault Captur in fourth, who have been able to reduce the deficit between the two boats, but are currently around 300 miles behind. Renault Captur is also locked into a busy series of jibes in the same system. 
Sebastian Audigan last night blogged about how exhausting a jive manoeuvre is on board a two-man iMocker 60, starting with what he calls 15 minutes of weight training, shifting all the gear across to the other side of the boat, even before going on deck. However, he reports that he and York have got the manoeuvre down to a pretty slick half an hour. Fine, uh, here in the prefrontal uh, zone, in the Indian Ocean, and uh, quite uh, movement. Yeah, we have uh, we have things that we have fixed, and that they are not working properly. But uh, not main things, and uh, we are we have fixed uh, almost everything that has been uh, that has broken or has uh, has been uh, not not working. Uh, if you ask me that I am Mediterranean, I would I would like to be on calm weather. But uh, you know the, this zone of uh, ocean, I think it, it does exist, but just for some uh, some hours, not not more, not days. For you, what is the the most difficult part of the race? Uh, as I said before, the, for us, for my brother and me, the most difficult part, in fact, was to be on the start of the race as, as to now. But uh, I know that you want to ask about navigation conditions and uh, uh, Cape of, of Good Hope, uh, the south of Cape of, of Good Hope. The sea was uh, had a, there was a big uh, big swell and the sea was very very uncomfortable to sail. So these were very tough conditions for us, yeah, and the boat was bumping from one to one way to another. Bruno, how is uh, the experience being so far? Uh, <laughs> This is a difficult answer. It's an easy question, but a difficult answer. Uh, you know, it's so complex that, uh, you know, to consider an experience uh, sailing all around the world, that uh, I think that the answer I will keep it for, uh, in my mind up to the, to, the, um, to the arrival, if you don't mind. We also chatted to Bruno Garcia. He and his brother Willie on We Are Water in fifth place are currently enjoying some of the most stable conditions in the fleet, reaching in 20 knot northwesterlies to really lay down some solid southern ocean miles. However, going forwards, their situation may yet become quite complex. Bruno explains they are in a prefrontal zone and that the front appears to be tracking quite rapidly. They also have large seas to contend with, but are glad of the opportunity to make some big distances in what is for both of them a first southern ocean voyage. They've also had a fair bit of boat work to do. Bruno refers to several repairs on board We Are Water, but reports that everything is currently holding up OK. The brothers, Bruno is the eldest by five years, have been on many adventures together, including racing a Figaro across the Atlantic double-handed. However, they also both have demanding day jobs. Bruno is a cardiac surgeon and Willie a successful jeweller, and also share a passion for extreme skiing. Bruno reports that they have spent more time up the mountains than on the sea recently together. So they are both really relishing this time spent as two brothers at sea, Bruno commenting that even he was surprised at how naturally they had fallen into this rhythm of sailing double-handed and were able to work very closely together. The iMocker 60 is an open class. This allows designers and sailors some freedom to customise their boat to their particular preferences. However, there are some basic parameters. The maximum beam is 5.5 metres, the maximum length 18.28 metres or 60 feet, about the same as a large bus. And the maximum rig height is 29 metres. To put that into context, it's about the same as a six or seven storey building. This immense writing moment and power allows the iMocker 60s to clock up some seriously fast speeds. In the last edition of the Barcelona World Race, winners Jean-Pierre Dick and Loic Perron covered 506.35 miles at an average boat speed of 21.1 knots. And the current race leaders, Cheminet Pujla, were this morning sailing at 19 to 20 knots. Chaminé Pujola is having good speed. They are doing about 19 knots of boat speed with a, still a 
quite windy conditions around 30 knots. The angle is pretty good for them. They have west to northwest wind. And now they're on the, on the edge of the exclusion zone. Uh, going straight to a Capri wind ETA would be around Friday morning. We have here the boat Neutrogena, same condition, same system, just one degree north latitude of Pujula. Uh, bit more west wind as well, so, um, and a bit less pressure. They're having a, around 20 to 25 knots, um, doing around 17 knots of boat speed. Here we can see Gaes, Gaes and Renault Capture having the same uh, system as well. They are a bit at the back of the system from Neutrogena and Pujula. So those guys are experiencing west conditions, west wind, around 20, 25 knots of wind speed. So they had to do a long series of jibe and they keep going uh, for the last, uh, last reports. We can have, uh, we see they're going to have those, condi those conditions as well for the, the following hours. Right here we can see we are water, um, having a very good VMG um, going straight to the east with a north northwest wind around 20 knots of wind. So they have a good reaching angle. Here we can see One Planet, One Ocean. One Planet, One Ocean is uh, sailing upwind. Even though this morning they had a bit of south wind, they're gonna, the wind will start to turn slowly southeast to east for tomorrow, blowing maybe around between 18, 18, 20 knots. So it's going to be boat speed not more than 12 knots for the next hours. Same, same for uh, Spirit of Hungary. Sailing upwind, they're having a bit of a southeast angle going east, and the boat speed is um, 10, 10 to 11 knots 